2023 atiko tinungbu shiva hospital be opens up on nigeria most preferred candidates and leader welcome to the news Peter Obi, Labour Party standard bearer, is longing for a serious change in the country system and major sectors ahead of the 2023 general election. The former governor of Anambra State on his Twitter page maintained that Nigerians need a visionary leader to get things done and done in the right way. Meanwhile, the presidential hopeful has continued with consultations with renowned leaders, former presidents and elder statesmen in the country to ensure he record success in the forthcoming polls. Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has urged diaspora Nigerians to play their roles in holding the Nigerian government accountable. He said aside from the constitutional right of voting, the people's sacred role is also to hold elected government accountable for ensuring desired development. That is one of the gaps that we have in this country. Everyone believes if his person is there, he should allow him to do whatever he wants to do. A must work for himself and his family and forget the development, whether at the state, local government, or at the federal level. Everybody thinks it is our time to partake in the national cake, forgetting that one hospital that is not built in the local environment Thousands may die. One road that is not well built or constructed, millions may die. A pipe of water that is not provided in the community can bring about a care issue that can bring about the infectious diseases. But until we begin to ask questions, make demands of our leaders, make them accountable for any position, we may continue to go around the same circle, round and round until... We know what to do and what to ask for. The former Anambra state governor in a series of tweets in his verified Twitter handle also said Nigeria needs visionary leadership and disruptive thinker to get it right. We don't even think of tomorrow, we think of today as followers and even as leaders. Because if somebody is thinking of tomorrow, they will think of how to connect the roads in this country together, in the local government together, make sure that they are fixed, make sure that there's electricity, make sure that the healthcare system is working. Make sure that the right people are again fully employed. Make sure that the education is well structured for the future of this country. Make sure that even if it is Google and state technology, bring it and begin to work. There are so many people that are talented in this country. All they do is they are, we allow foreigners to type them away and develop their own country at the detriment and the growth of our country. It can only take one visionary leadership and destructive thinker for Nigeria to be back on the right trajectory. Our vision and mission is to give full expression to our democracy by moving our country from consumption to production. He also urged Nigerians abroad to exploit their network and numbers in demanding better government in their home country. You have the network and numbers to be able to negotiate the priorities of the government, especially during the election period, as the one we are embarking on soon. You should be able to place pressing issues on the agenda of the candidates and subsequently on the front burner for the new government that will be formed. Well, we have to. Otherwise, this country will just be going around and around and around and around and around and nothing will seem to happen. We are over 60 years now and we are still talking about the same thing. Everything is around the same thing. Atiku Tinubu Shiva. Ha ha ha. Peter Obi is our president come 2023. Love it or leave it. Tinubu is supposed to be resting in his house by now. No struggling for presidential seat with our presidential candidate. If you are interested, people should come out and be obedient. Redon sir, we know that both Atiku and Tinubu has no good plan for Nigeria, but to continue to lead us the same old way. It is human through weakness or strength to discredit any power and authority to part his own ambition to gain sympathy from the unsuspecting who be supporters or crowds. All his politics, your best friend also has a best friend. What is this one? I think Antinumbu should know that Nigerians are longing for positive change 
that will embrace total industrialization of Nigeria, restoring perfect power system and improving unity among Nigerians. The man is already shaking, non-stop, so him shivering is of no effect. We know this year will be wind blowing away every death in our path. We're blowing away everything that wants to stop us. It is a Facebook fact. No one can dispute, but it's a clear fact that he is no more than a regional hero looking for national recognition come 2023. Regional hero, always your talking point. You'll be surprised what will happen come 2023. Aruna, I advise you to improve on your positive thinking. All progressive Congress must up Nigerian economy. Therefore, we need to restore the glory of Nigeria by electing a young and competent leader for total turnaround of Nigerian economy. I'm really sorry for this northerners who bewitched you guys about all that has happened and is still happening to you people, in particular and to the country in general. You have still refused to learn. Will you learn in your grave? I hope you are enjoying the dividends of this present government. Wake up, dear brothers in the north. Wake up. Don't vote for another disaster. You may not survive it. I may know how I'm pleased, but be obedient. Bola Tinumbu is our next president of the Federal Republic. Reply. Okay, you Igbos are very hostile. Why involving his father in this matter? This is democracy, and in democracy is a matter of choice, self-interest, and national interest. You can't stop people from expressing their opinion. It is this hostility that makes other tribes in the country not to be friendly with you people. I don't think so. God will never give us Tinumbu or APC government at national level, not to talk of it at the state level. You said the right words, a visionary and transformational leader with God to great mentality. His Excellency, we are waiting. 2023 is around the corner. If Nigerians fail to elect Peter B as their president come 2023, the consequences shall be grave and unimaginable. Peter B is God's last chance to save Nigeria. Take this prediction to the bank. Can someone tell me what is behind holding the political meeting abroad and not in Nigeria? Visionless will be talking of visionary leader. Hmm. Well, we should follow who knows the road. Nigerians don't be deceived. You mean Biafra needs a visionary leader? Even the Ikemba didn't reckon with his capacity. God forbid Ubi he could lead a number again for another eight or eventful year. You are the chosen one, sir. The man of people, the man of new dispensation. To be that carry go, we are behind you. Hmm. Well, we are waiting. 2023 is Excellency incoming president, which is Vibu Vice President Dati Baba Amen. I agree with you totally. Please do as you promised Nigerians. Well, that is opinion of the people in express what is yours. Kindly make it known as you subscribe to my channel. Thank you, good day, and see you very soon.